Wow, the fudge was great. What a warm day. Hey, Dr. Romano, you're still here. Um, I got some fudge. You want a little piece of it? I want to go over a problem that I think you'll really enjoy today that um, I posted in the study group. As you can see, we're going to take this bicycloketone and we're going to treat it with DO and D2O. Now, essentially what's going to happen is any alpha proton you will see will simply exchange for a deuterium. Now, as you can see, oh, it's windy. these two are obvious alpha protons, and I replaced both of these. But the question is, how about the alpha proton that's at the bridgehead carbon? And it does not exchange. So the answer, there would only be two hydrogens that exchange. Now, the question is, why not the alpha proton at the bridgehead? If you remove the alpha proton from the bridgehead, you would get this anion and you would very easily be able to write a resonance form. One thing a good friend of mine, Professor Malin Jones, he's emeritus professor of organic chemistry at Princeton, always used to tell me, many, many times the blackboard loves to tell a lie. And that's exactly what's happened here. It looks like on the blackboard I was able to do resonance, but not a chance. There's no resonance because by placing a double bond at a bridgehead carbon would be impossible. There's no orbital overlap. If you remembered, orbitals that are forming a pi bond have got to be parallel. There is no way I can get parallel orbital overlapping that's going to be effective if there's a double bond in this position. So because there's no overlap of the orbitals, we can't get them coplanar, there's no resonance no resonance, you're not going to form the carbanion needed once the removal of the alpha proton occurs. So therefore, only two H's exchange. So remember, usually the alpha proton exchanges for a D, but not in this example if the alpha proton is out of bridge high carbon. All right, I hope this helps on a really solid problem where the less astute student might call it overkill. But never use the word overkill if you have an opportunity to learn something. All right, good day to you. I learned something today, Dr. Romano. I'm going to be getting a 30 on that exam. You just wait and see. Good day to you, sir.